former President Obama has argued that we must change our economic system and embrace elements of communist ideology including universal basic income, the policy where the government grants citizens an income to live on, while delivering remarks Tuesday at the 16th annual Nelson Mandela Lecture in Johannesburg. Obama also claimed the rich owe the world a huge debt and outlined the series of radical wealth distribution plans taken straight from the pages of Das Kapital, Karl Marx's seminal communist tract. The good news is that, according to Obama, the rich will pay for everything. The bad news is that, according to Obama, you are rich. Letting his guard down in front of the African crowd, Obama said countries that have become rich on the back of global free trade like the United States, must now give back and support the less wealthy around the world by providing a universal basic income that will lift everyone up to the same level. According to Obama, our economic system is no longer fit for purpose. It's time for change, and he says the government must play a central role in our lives, providing our income, training and making everybody entrepreneurs. It's not just money that a job provides said Obama. It provides dignity and structure and a sense of place and a sense of purpose. So we're going to have to consider new ways of thinking about these problems, like a universal income, review of our work week, how we retrain our young people, how we make everybody an entrepreneur at some level. But we're going to have to worry about economics if we want to get democracy back on track. UB has long been a socialist policy supported by far-left progressives and leftist intellectuals. It's often discussed alongside or in place of a universal job guarantee, a policy that recently earned support from presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders. Liberal outposts around the country have already begun rolling out plans to provide citizens with guaranteed universal income. The city of Stockton, California has committed to a new universal income pilot program that will offer low-income families a stipend of $500 per month. And in Chicago, a majority of city lawmakers have signed on to a similar pilot plan they hope will soon receive support from Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Concluding his speech, Obama instructed the crowd to keep believing, keep marching, keep building, keep raising your voice. Every generation has the opportunity to remake the world. Now, with the backing of Obama, the dangerous notion of communist ideology becoming mainstream in America is once again a serious threat.